So once we've selected our Space Marine head, we're going to go ahead and use a small drill to place a hole in the underneath. We're going to dip a cocktail stick in a little bit of super glue and we're going to attach the head there. Once the glue's dried, we've got a nice stick we can use to manipulate the head. Then I'm going to give everything a little priming of um, white, nice and thin. Before going in with our first colour, now this is Drucci Violet. It's mixed down um, on a one-to-one -one basis with water. It's nice and thin, and I'm just going to apply this into the recesses, creases, things like the eye sockets, the mouth, any lines, anything that stands out as obvious shadow. Once that coat's dry, I'm going to go back in with a straight Drucci to the deeper areas. I go in one last time with a very little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade, looking for the very deepest recesses and features. And as you can see, the, the Drakenhof Nightshade gives um, a nice sort of bluer grey tone. Again, this is a pre-shading technique um, before we go into the miniature fully with um, some colour. Which we add now, we go in with Dark Oath Flesh. This is currently mixed two to one with the contrast medium. It gives a very thin um, sort of covering and allows the areas for the pre-shading to go in and um, create the shadow underneath the skin effect. So we give this a nice liberal coat over the top, um, trying to be as neat as possible. Again, we're working on small areas, so the, the neater we are, the less we have to tidy afterwards. Obviously, tidying is okay, and if you need to use your finger at any point just to sort of take things off the higher areas, feel free to do so. Once that coat's down and on, I then use um, Norn Oil to sort of pre-shade the rest of the miniature and the rest of the head. Um, allows me to see some of the other features which I could go back in. Again, this is thinned uh, on a one-to-one -one ratio, although Norn Oil is very thin already. It, uh, it doesn't hurt to go a little bit thinner. I'd rather do a couple of coats and you can see me there just making some adjustments where I might have caught some of the more raised areas because this really should be sat in the deepest shadows too. And I also do go into the face and touch in some of the uh, the darker areas here with the, uh, the very thin down normal oil just to create um, a bit of outlining between where the um, parts of the helmet maybe touch the face or the hair lines. And again, it just helps the, uh, the skinned area stand out a little bit there. And I'm just going in here by the looks of things to just touch up an eye um, with the shading. Now at this point, um, your skin is essentially complete. What I'd like to do is go in and touch in some beards. Now this is um, Drakenhof Nightshade mixed two to one with water. So that's two parts water, one part Drakenhof Nightshade. And I like to touch in stubble effects around the beard area, the jaw lines. Sometimes on a bald miniature, I'll apply um, to the top of the head to look like a stubble cut, if you like. Um, so give this an opportunity to go in, allow it to dry. If it's not dark enough, by all means you can go back in again and it should leave um, a stubbly effect on the miniature itself once dry. And once that's dry, pop that onto the head of the miniature and there you can see we've got a lovely stubble effect. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you do, drop us a like, maybe even subscribe along. Thanks for watching.